It's our showroom. We've moved, it, we've moved the showroom around several times as the company's grown. It used to be down in the service area where you used to, where you walked in. Uh -huh. And since then, we've just grown and grown and grown over 13 years. Well, actually, longer than 13 years. Oh, that red is nice. I'm not changing my mind, though. <laughs> this is our service area. We, we service all bike Fridays that people send to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we also rebuild old bikes and stand uh, when they come in for their trade ins. Uh -huh. And we resell the bikes and we reuse them with a brand new warranty on the frame. Cool. So we do all sorts of work back in here. Does the frame ever just like wear out and you have to scrap it, or you can always pretty much? If somebody's it? trashed the frame, then we'll trash it. But. Uh, I have a bike that's 15 years old that I'm riding right now. Yeah, you done. probably have to work at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think you make any work. This is the twin air tandem. I saw somebody on a, a Friday tandem at the farmer's market yesterday. Oh, you know, and that happens when you buy something and then it's everywhere. Oh, yeah. And all of our bikes come in as far as service into this line here. It gets processed at this station and then it gets put on the rollers in the back until we have a queue that everything runs through. Oh, okay. Schedule through. And we have the same thing for parts. We manage all of our parts for, because we do direct sales of parts to customers. And we stage things here as we wait for things. This is our inventory. When we get all the parts in, we are leading to a just-in-time manufacturing with our parts. So instead of having, you know, maybe 50 hubs in here, we're going to be down to 20. But as we order the bikes, all the parts that come in as we order go directly into these uh, kits here in the back, the bags. Oh, so, so that's like, this is like everything you need to do one bike Everything you need to do one bike here. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's what I need for the surly cross check frame I just ordered. As we sneak through here and get past Justin, who is our just in time guy. <laughs> Did you hire him because of that? Yeah, actually. <laughs> this is our shipping area. And as you can see, we have lots of bikes getting ready to go out today. This is the oven and the powder coating booth. Oh, nice. So we'll take and we'll go in the door here. Yep. And powder coat in there. And then it gets baked in here about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then it comes out and cools. It goes to a table in the back side, which is for uh, assembly and alignment. Okay. For our wheel builder work. with your bike, this is our service counter where Tim answers all the phone calls as far as service issues and taking parts orders. Is this where your office is? Yep, really? I sit right over here. Oh, okay. Good. I always like to visualize where then, people are when I... These are bikes that the guys who historically make, Alan and Hans, the two founders of the company. They used to make bikes for um, Burley, and Alan actually was the co-founder of Burley Co-op. Oh, cool. He was famous for the trailers, and for a while they were producing bicycles. We are rocking the Burley trailer right now. I've been towing it all around all cool. weekend. Love that thing. Our infamous, infamous lunchroom. <laughs> hey, foosball. Two of my favorite, ping pong and foosball. Can't beat that. Right on. So how's the... I mean, I drove out here, and it was on the freeway. So how's the 
bike commuting to get here. Uh, let me show you how that. Hey, we even have somebody riding a ticket. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get it off that way. Nice bridge. So this path this, goes... This path takes you, if you follow it, will take you into down to, towards downtown. Uh-huh. And if you take the path the other way, it'll take you uh, about five miles to Fernwood Reservoir, which is a wildlife area and a water reclamation area. Cool. So it's really pretty nice. Nice. Rear rack that you can put panniers on. The problem gets to be is on this side, mm -hmm. is if when you're dragging it down, the bag's going to hang down, it's going to hit your rear derailleur, it's going to run into your click box, which is for your uh, three-speed internal hub. Sweet internal hub. Nice. This is pretty much exactly what I ordered, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> this this could be your bike. Um, and where's it going? This one is going back to uh, New York City. No, oh, okay. Almost a new world record.